Hi, Red Melon. Hi, Andy. Um, I've had a question I wanted to ask you for a while. Um, how did you learn to teach grammar? Would you mind talking about that for a little bit? Not at all. Mm. Uh, and that's a very good question, but not an easy one to answer. I think I learned the nuts and bolts of teaching grammar from various different sources. Literature, mm. books on grammar, grammar books, books, grammar books for students, mm. articles, things like that. Yeah. Then, number two, my undergraduate and graduate methodology courses. Number three, professional development events, mm -hmm. uh, workshops, seminars, webinars, online courses, um, and conferences. And four, uh, most importantly, mm. um, I learned a lot from my colleagues, from working with my colleagues, and with my colleagues. Okay. Okay, what, what do you think helped you the most? That's a not an easy question to ask. Mm. That's another difficult question. I think that all these forms of teacher learning, uh, various professional development events, formal, less formal, and informal, uh, worked in unison. Mm. Um, it, and just to borrow a term from educational psychology, they scaffold each other. Uh, support and supplement. Not mm -hmm. a single one is is sufficient, I would say. All four are necessary. But if I were to single out one, mm -hmm. um, I would say learning from with colleagues and from colleagues. Okay, why, why is that? Because all other professional development events and forms of learning are kind of presenting you with lots of ideas, mm -hmm. but it's when you talk with colleagues, when I talk with colleagues, that yeah. things start making sense. They all click together and then I, I, that helps me understand clearly a new idea and helps me understand what it is that I need to do with my students. Okay. Could you, uh, could you give me an example of that? Sure. Uh, when I was a beginner teacher, I used to look, spend a lot of time planning lessons. I would spend, say, three hours planning, searching for ideas, uh, choosing, selecting activities, three hours for, for preparation, for, for one hour, contact hour. Um, not that it helped my teaching very much uh, at that particular moment. It did help me in the long run. I learned a lot from this uh, engagement with literature. Uh, but sometimes my classrooms were not as successful as I expected them to do, and sometimes they were a disaster. Now, I'll tell you about a disaster. I vividly remember uh, how I spent the entire weekend planning a, a lesson in which I wanted to include scenarios. Mm -hmm. And scenarios, you do you know what scenarios are? I'm not sure. No. Scenarios are um, activities uh, that are practically an information, information gap activities with yeah. uh, scripted role plays, okay. half, half scripted, half open role plays. Mm -hmm. And I learned about scenarios, a workshop uh, organized by the American Embassy in Belgrade, and, and they were very effective and I wanted to incorporate them in my, in my teaching. Mm -hmm. They promoted um, fluent use of target grammar structures. In a natural situation. Um, so what happened was that my students were not at all uh, delighted to mm. <laughs> with, with the, yeah. it, this innovation, mm -hmm. not very not willing to participate. In one word, my lesson was unsuccessful and I was devastated. And I decided to talk with a colleague who was at the same seminar with me. Yeah. I told her what happened mm. and then she said, okay, let me tell you what I did with my students. So she did not tell me, you should have done this or mm. you should have done that, but said, listen, this is what I did. And what she did was she decided um, to talk with her students at the, uh, before implementing scenarios. Okay. Um, simply, she, she anticipated mm -hmm. that the scenarios would be difficult for these students in terms yeah. of the, uh, difficult to accept mm. uh, that f they were something totally different from their previous education experience mm -hmm. and she felt she should explain 
what and why they, they, they would be doing scenarios. Yeah. She told them that the uh, scenarios uh, would uh, support their ability to communicate uh, naturally mm -hmm. um, and support their uh, fluency and accuracy. Mm 